This is rude. Shanidria McGinty stumbled across this Mexican comic book, the mean for president, in a Houston Walmart store. And I was like, okay, is it a monkey or a boy? To me, it was insult. She'd never heard of Mamin Pinguin, so she bought a Spanish-English dictionary and tried translating, but still didn't like what she saw. I asked my boyfriend, I'm like, does that look like a monkey to you? Is that a monkey mother? You know, we're going back and forth, and he was like, no, that's a black woman. McGinty and Houston community activist Quanell X want the comic books removed from stores. This is absolutely insensitive toward race, in particular African-American culture, and also people of color. This is poking fun at the physical features of an entire people. But Mexican readers who grew up following the shenanigans of Mamin say critics need to look beyond the cover and understand the stories. They will bring a smile to their to their to their face because we're so fond of that character. We respect it. We love him, and it's, that's why it's so absurd for us to hear complaints about people who don't know, don't understand Mamin. Mamin is a poor Cuban Mexican kid, mischievous and caring. He helps his mother make money by selling newspapers and shining shoes, a comic book character tackling real life problems. We grow up reading, learning, educating ourselves with a lot of uh, the topics that they always touch, which was honesty, justice, tolerance. They, he was a very unique character. Mamin is no stranger to controversy. Three years ago, a series of Mexican stamps honoring Mamin ignited an international uproar. The stamps were discontinued because of protests from African-American leaders. This is a disgrace. Look at how they portray his mother with these huge ethnic lips, darkness skin, making, them, making her look like the big gorilla and the child looking like the little monkey. Walmart has confirmed to CNN that it will no longer sell the Mamin Pinguin comic books in any of its stores, but fans of Mamin say they're saddened that the valuable lessons of their cherished comic book character have been lost in translation. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Dallas.